Hi everyone, and today we are working on the pedal box of my Factory 533 Hot Rod version 2. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel about building kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So we're going to build the pedal box today and then I'm also going to share with you how some of my expectations were a little bit off and how this process was going to actually go. And then I'm going to give you a nice overall of what I've done so far in the car. Let's check it out.
So here it is, uh, what I would call day two for me, which is, um, you know, a full day that I'm able to work on the car. And I'll kind of give you an overview of kind of what's been going on. So there's certain parts that I haven't painted yet, which you're supposed to be doing like the front suspension, um, you know, parts like that. And since I don't have them painted, I can't put those on yet. Now I can build it up and then take it all apart, but like, what's the point of that? I don't get that. So, um, so I'm finally uh, picking my colors today. Hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have supplies to start painting and, uh, and then I can get that going. But because of that, what's cool about building this car is if you don't have something ready to go, then you could just move on to something else. Or if there's back ordered parts from the factory, you move on to something else. And, uh, so I'm actually kind of surprised. Things that I thought I was not going to be using until months later in the build because I'm looking at the manual as this, you know, Bible of like, this is the order you go in. Um, I'm actually pulling boxes from far deep in the house that I was like, I'm not going to be on this for four months or whatever. I'm actually pulling those out now and, and getting into it. Uh, I installed the brake pedal box yesterday. Today I might do some uh, brake lines. Uh, I might, you know, start getting, I think I'm missing some parts to bolt up my, my rear axle, but I'm gonna put some fluid in that, hopefully, maybe get that somewhat started. Um, so there's a bunch of different things that are kind of happening in different orders. And, you know, really there's been no stress in this process. Um, it's just been like, well, you know, how do I wanna tackle this? How do I wanna approach this? And uh, it's, it's going pretty smooth. And if I'm, you know, don't understand something, I just take a little time with it or I look it up on the forum. Uh, but for the most part, it's been really good. Um, but, you know, here are some of the gotchas. Like for instance, <clears throat> you know, getting ready to take a reservoir, you know, find the spot you want to bolt it. But as you can see, I haven't actually created any holes in the firewall yet to bolt to the frame. So from this side, I can't really see where any of that stuff is. So you want to make sure that you do things in a certain order that don't, you know, like for instance, what's coming down the pike. I don't want to mount something there and then all of a sudden it's in the way of my engine uh, or it's in the way of the overflow tank or it's in the way of something that I don't even know yet. And so, you know, it's a really good idea to kind of read through the manual once and then kind of jump to different parts and see what's coming down the pike, what might trip you up. And, uh, you know, it is a, a, a monster of a manual. Uh, believe it or not, day one, I'm already hitting like page 150 because I'm not majorly jumping around, but I'm definitely jumping around to stuff that I could do. But this, this manual is over 600 pages. Uh, this is the latest edition actually, which is for version two. So that's great. And they have it in a digital format too. So I have it in a PDF. So it's easy for me to find stuff when I'm researching inside. And then I leave the, the physical one outside so, uh, I could, uh, you know, get sturdy or whatever, but, um, so far so good. So let me, uh, take you around the car and show you what I've done so far. It's getting pretty unbearable in here. I don't have any fans or anything, but uh, also I got busted for uh, having logos on my van. Now, normally my van's parked inside the garage, but uh, that is not the case anymore because uh, this thing has taken up two spaces. So both my cars have to stay outside. And of course we got the vet inside. All right, so the other day I said I thought this was flat. There's obviously a sheen to it, so it's kind of satin. So I was wrong about that. Um, firewall. I think I really got the firewall dialed in pretty well. I've marked the lines on it. I haven't drilled anything yet. I'm kind of waiting until I get to a certain stage where I feel comfortable with that. One thing I'm going to research is <clears throat> these little areas here, whether I could just, you know, chop these off, clean them up a little bit. I think other people have done that, so I'm going to verify, but that looks like it needs to be done. 
And then there's some uh, body panels, which you can see there vertically. Um, that actually goes underneath the frame, but I can't actually put those on the frame until I get these removed and taken care of. And then I could mark the frame on the bottom ones as they're clamped up upside down. So things like that I'm kind of working on slowly, but uh, I did get a chance to put in the pedal box yesterday. I destroyed one of these fittings with the wrench. It actually collapsed this inside hole from the wrench itself as I was torquing it around, which I had to actually use a uh, like a vice grip or whatever to get this one on without collapsing it. So I'm going to have to get another part from Willwood. Someone suggested, I went down to AutoZone, they didn't have it, and they suggested Ace Hardware, and I was kind of surprised. But since it's the brake line, I'm probably just going to call Willwood because uh, it's a safety issue. So I don't want to just put generic parts in. Uh, now, since I'm running automatic, I actually removed one of the brakes, and uh, or one of the pedals, I should say. And uh, <clears throat> I'm ready pretty much to start running lines, come around here, come down come on the inside so that's gonna come soon and uh, what's funny is it seemed like a lot of stuff that I got done and I don't have much to say so <laughs> maybe I didn't get a lot done <laughs>